Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about simplifying rational expressions. So a rational expression is pretty much just a fraction, um, but we're going to be working with more complex fractions. So one half is a, a rational expression, but so is x squared minus 3x plus 1 over 2x minus 4. They're both rational expressions. And the thing to remember is that with the rational expressions, um, there are restrictions in the denominator, and that's that the denominator can never equal zero, just like any fraction we've ever worked with. So when you simplify a rational expression, it's kind of like simplifying um, a normal fraction. We would never leave our answer as 5 over 10. We would simplify it to 1 half. You need to do the same thing with more complex ones, and the way you do that is first you need to factor the numerator and denominator, and there's going to be a lot of uh, GCF problems, so make sure to check that. Then once you factor it, you can cancel out the common factors, um, and that's how you simplify. Um, and another thing is sometimes you are going to need to state your variable restrictions, so you need to tell me what x cannot be. Um, and the way you do that is you look for values that make your denominator zero, because that is against the rules in math. Um, so let's start by looking at this uh, first uh, rational expression. So this one, I want to start by stating um, the restrictions. If you look at our denominator, which is 2xy to the fourth, you can see that if x equals 0, your denominator is 0. So x can never equal 0. And we also have a y in the denominator, so we're going to also say that y can never equal 0, because if it is, it turns your whole denominator into 0. So now that we have our restrictions out of the way, we can simplify it. So I always like to start with um, the numbers. Let me rewrite it again. So we can simplify 10 over 2. That's just division. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And here we can um, use our exponent rules. That's one way we can do it. Um, so if I have x to the fourth on top and x on the bottom, remember when we're dividing exponents, we subtract the powers. 4 minus 1. Oops, I'm sorry, this is supposed to be a 5, huh? 5 minus 1 is 4. And then for my y's, 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And then we never leave a negative exponent. The way we get rid of it is by flipping it to the bottom. So it becomes 5x to the fourth over y squared. Um, for number two, uh, right now it's hard to tell um, what all of our restrictions will be for x. So what I want to do first is factor it. Um, so for my numerator, I have a GCF that is 2x. And in my denominator, I also have a GCF that is 2x. So I'm going to factor um, both of those out. So for my numerator, here's my GCF, and what I have left is 3x plus 2. And for my denominator, if I factor out 2x, what I have left is x plus 2. Um, so one way, another way to um, find those restrictions is you take each factor in your denominator and you say, well, that factor can never equal 0 because it turns your whole thing into zero. So for my restrictions, I say 2x can never equal zero, and x plus 2 can never equal zero. Remember, we only care about our denominator. Our numerator can be zero if it wants to. We don't care. So if I solve it, I get x can never equal zero, and x can never equal negative 2. Those are my two restrictions. But now I can simplify, so you might notice um, that I have a 2x on top and a 2x on the bottom, and I can cross those whole things out. So what I'm left with is 3x plus 2 over x plus 2. A really common mistake that I see is people do, oh, I see a plus 2 and a plus 2. You cannot do that. 3x plus 2 is a factor, the whole thing, and you cannot just separate a factor in the middle you can only cancel out the entire thing. So this is actually our most simplified form. Um, let's look at number three. Uh, you can see that our numerator is a magic x problem. 
So when I factor it out, I get y plus 2 times y plus 1. And our denominator is a difference of two squares problem. So I get y plus 1 times y minus 1. Let's really quick look at our restrictions. Remember we say that this factor cannot equal 0 and this factor cannot equal 0. So I get that y can never equal negative 1 and y can never equal positive 1. Those are my restrictions. And then you need to simplify by canceling out common factors. So I see a y plus 1 on top and a y plus 1 on the bottom. So my most simplified version is y plus 2 over y minus 1. All right, for number 4, um, this one, let's factor it first. So my, den or my numerator can't be factored, but my denominator has a GCF that I can factor out, which is 3. So I have 3 times x plus 1. Oops, sorry. 3 times 2x plus 1. So now I can take each factor and set it and say that it can never equal 0. Well, 3 never equals 0 anyway, so you don't really have to worry about that. 2x plus 1 can never equal 0. So I know that x cannot equal negative 1 half. That's my restriction. And now when I go to simplify it, I see a 15 on the top and a 3 on the bottom. You simplify it just like any other fraction. If we divide them both by 3, that becomes a 1 and that becomes a 5. So my most simplified answer is 5 over 2x plus 1, and I'm done. Um, for number 5, we're going to factor the top and the bottom using magic x. Here's my denominator now. So my numerator becomes x plus 4 times x plus 4. My denominator becomes x plus 4 times x plus 2. Let's look at our restrictions really quick. So both factors we say cannot equal 0. So x cannot equal negative 4 or negative 2. Those are my restrictions. Then the fun part, you get to cancel out the common factors. So I see an x plus 4 on top and bottom. So my simplified version is x plus 4 over x plus 2. And this last one, um, my numerator I can factor using difference of two squares. And my denominator, you might notice, is sum of cubes. So that formula was a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared, where my a value equals x and my b value equals 3. So I have x plus 3 times x squared minus 3x plus 9. I'm not going to make you find the restrictions for this problem because it's a little more um, involved, but I do want to still simplify it by canceling out my common factors. So my answer is x minus 3 over x squared minus 3x plus 9. And that's all for today.